Now, I've got fresh strawberries, raspberries, pineapple and melon, croissant, pan au chocolat and brioche. Where's all this come from? I was down at Tesco's at five this morning. Mum, you didn't need to do all this. Yeah, with all due respect, we're talking about Gavin's new girlfriend, not Princess Di. You do not mention that hussy's name in this house and you know that, Michael! She's coming. Put your pipe down. Hiya. I'm Stacy. You all right for tea there, Stacy? Coffee? Juice? I'm fine, thanks. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Right. Well, I'm off. That was terrific. Lovely to meet you, Stacey. You coming to the quiz tonight? Yeah, I'll be there. Great. See you, Gav. Mick, can I have a word? Oh, my God, just hold me. Hey, what's up? Can't you see what's going on? Huh. With Jackie Onassis in there, I know. What's that all about? It is evidently plainly obvious that our son has been beating that poor girl. Are you mad? How else do you explain this? He's given her two black eyes. She's been beaten within an inch of her life. Don't be ridiculous. Gavin would never do that. I've seen it happen before. When? Holby City. There was an episode right. last night. That's it. That's enough. I'm off. Oh, and you're just going to ignore it, are you? What if I'm right? Right. Gavin, can you come out here, please? Yeah? Gavin, your mother would like to know if you've been, um, hitting Stacy. Eh? It's all right, my little prince. We can get you help. You serious? Well, what's with the glasses? I don't know. She won't tell me. I'm just as stumped as you are. I bought a Millennium New Year's. Me and Smithy went as the Blues Brothers. Right. Stacy, uh, could you come out here a minute, please? Babes, we're all a bit confused about the eyewear situation. Please don't make me take them off. Are you hiding something? Yeah. It's all right, sweetheart. You're in safe hands. Do you want to show me? I love the boys. OK. Mick? See you tonight. Have a good day at work. Gavin? Tidy the kitchen. Me and Stacy are going to be spending a little bit of time in the bathroom. Come on, Petra. OK, darling. This isn't going to hurt a bit. Ow! All right. Um, who won the Golden Boot World Cup Mexico 86? Oh, come on, that's a second time tonight Gary Lineker has been the answer. Oh, here they are. Oh, come on, we need you. Where have you been? Do you want me to tell him what you like? I don't mind. Seven o'clock, he says he'll be back in. He walks his tent on. I was working. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. I thought you was a chartered surveyor. I didn't realise you worked in a brewery. Oh, leave it out, will ya? Any strolls, reeking a booze, round with his own daughter. No, no, darling. Not in front of Stacey. This is Stacey. Hi, Stacey, love. Heard a lot about you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you make me sick. Question number eight. Who took over from Des Lynham on BBC One's Match of the Day? Oh. 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 Question 19. Oh. The town of Leicester is the birthplace of which mass murderer? You all right, babe? Yeah, I'm having a brilliant time. I'm not even homesick. Stop gawping at a woman. Oh, well, excuse me if I've forgotten what romance looks like, you pathetic lump of shit. Question 21. 20. Whatever. 
Pascal Chimbonda moved to Tottenham for what transfer fee? Summer transfer window. Season just gone. Question 29. Sorry. Who invented the plug? He has got to slow down. I mean, I like a drink, Stace, but this is every quiz night. You want to come down Barry for all like that? Are you really, my love? Is it a pandemic? Oh, I don't know. Who just likes getting pissed? You should move to Barry Pitt, do you hear that? Question 30 is, um... Oh, it's, um... It's, um... Oh... I know the answer. Chris Akabusi. It's gone. Forget it. All right. Who ever heard of a 29 question quiz? You come second, didn't you? Yeah, and what did we win? Packet of Hamlet. I like Bamba Gascoigne. Uh, more like Paul Gascoigne. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Man's a genius. I will call you tomorrow about You Thursday. coming, Dawn? Are you talking to me? That's the first. You barely looked at me all night. You were a pig. What? Lovely to see you. Take it easy, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> see you later. Pete? <laughs> for a pig, am I? Oh, thank you very much for a lovely, bloody evening. That was a real delight. The thing is, they really love each other. They'd never look at anyone else. Would you ever look at anyone else, Pam? Oh, stop it! <laughs> what about your Lucy? Uh, no, I'll patch on you. Come here, you've got such a great pair of... Right, I'll see you. All right. All right. I'll see you later. That is not right. You can't try. I think the motor I've got will be up at five. Stay out, I'll drive you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, Pammy, Pammy. Get in the Pammy, 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 Pammy. You are choking me. No, come on. Where the hell is your father? 40 minutes, he's been gone. Well, it is Saturday. It's Christmas sod and Eve. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pam. Pamela. And you all know Gavin. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> my husband Nick has been called into the office. Apparently, all the computers have been shut down. And only he knows how to... Anyway, enough about him. <laughs> you must be Nessa. I like Pam. <laughs> and that makes you Gwen. Hello. Oh, <laughs> mother of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> and you must be Uncle Brian. At uh, Brian. Bryn. Bryn. It means hill in Welsh. Does it really? Do you know, I've no idea what my name means in Welsh. Why? Because I don't speak the lingo, darling. No, in Welsh, Pam means why. Oh. Or brick. Oh, sorry. Here he is. Here he is, the worker. Nice to meet you. How was everything at the office? Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but we just had a burst pipe. <laughs> uh, where do you want this food, love? Uh, those. Food. Oh, God, no, everyone's catered for. Catered for everyone well in advance. No, it's just that this morning, before you arrived, I became a vegetarian. Yeah, veggie. So that's what this is. Um, out of interest, any one of you vegetarians? I mean, not that it makes any difference to me either way. I mean, we're all adults. Um, I am. But I would ask you to respect my views. And, and all the little animals who've been needlessly murdered in the name of Western civilised greed. Pam, look, um, I'm sure all our guests could all do with a sit-down, so why don't you all go through and, uh, Gavin, you get everybody's bags and your mum and I'll get the drinks, all right? Thanks. Oh, thank Excellent. You, thank you, Gavin. <gasps> oh, my God! What is wrong with you? I fell apart. I've fallen apart, Mick. I was so nervous I can't even remember what I just said. You said you were a vegetarian. Yes, I remember that. OK, calm down. It's just you weren't here and you always do the greeting. I get the drinks and you introduce. It's been like that for 26 years. OK, look, 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 <gasps> at, me, look at me. Huh? <gasps> now, 
You take some deep breaths, all right? Yeah, that's it. And calm. Calm. Now, we're going to go back in there and have a lovely evening with some lovely people. And the only thing you have to remember is that you don't eat Wait, wait. Oh, Stace, I tell you what, you could do a lot worse. No words of a lie, when they die, you'll be loaded. Nessa! She's got a point, Gwen. I mean, let's face it, when Trevor died, God rest his soul, he left you a penniless widow. You don't want to see Stace go down that same terrible route, do you? I can't believe this. I'm not even married yet, and already talking about my in-laws dying. You've got to think about these things, love. I mean, had you ended up with Leighton, right? You'd be living on the breadline. Because his family had nothing. Howell's lot. Well, they were much better off. At least with Ahmed. Uh, you felt there was a bit put by. But that's in their culture, see? Bryn, we are not to mention the other engagements. Stace will tell him when she's ready. I just don't see the point in upsetting him. Yeah, nor the family. You want to think of the inheritance. Look, they're just ordinary people. They're not mega rich nor nothing. Champagne, everyone! Who's for champagne? <laughs> Here we go, Stacey. Ooh. There you are. Gwen. Oh, thank you very much. Nessa. You'll have to go outside, I'm afraid. No worries. I still got these. There you go, Nessa. So, a toast to the happy couple. Gavin and Stacey! Oh, Gavin, Gavin and Stacey! Yeah. 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 Congratulations. We were in a car park in Basildon last week, flashing the headlights, no one come over. I mean, I just want to be involved. I feel like he's looking at these girls, he's not thinking men are, she's thinking, hello. Can I suggest something? Have you thought about role play? Because when my Trevor was alive, it did us wonders. Saved our marriage, if truth be told. Oh, tell me about it. I mean, how lucky I am. My Mick is open to anything. Really lucky stuff. Even when we do Charles and Camilla, he's first on with the ears. Uh, can I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen? Yay! We'll get to my speech in a minute. First, you've got to listen to these boring bastards. <laughs> I'm only dicking around. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my best mate who lost his virginity between two wheelie bins at my mum's house in 1993, Mr. Gavin Shipman! <laughs> Thanks, Smith, for that glowing character reference. Well, right, I'll keep this short. Right, you're not. <laughs> If someone had told me three months ago that I'd be standing here today a married man, I'd have thought they were mad. All really, really drunk. <laughs> but nine weeks ago, I met Stacy for the first time, and it's changed everything. Because I remember people saying to me, you'll know when you meet the one. And I'd always think, how? And I just didn't believe them. But the minute I met you, Stacey, I did know. And I suddenly understood what they were on about. And it's something I can't even put into words how I feel right now. All I can say is, you're beautiful, and you're funny, and you're kind. And there's just something in me that tells me I'm going to be with you and look after you forever. Because I love you, baby. And that's just the way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Stacy. Now, I'll hand you over to my best friend and best man, Smithy, who has apparently prepared a blinder of a speech. Smithy. First of all, I'd like to raise a toast. Which is... <laughs> all right. <laughs> I 
I'll never forget. I'll never forget when me and Gab was a football and we were seeing these dogs. Gavin and Stacey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, my Christ. Ma'am? What? What have you brought all this for? Well, you said to bring everything, all your stuff. Where's it well, all going to go? I don't think we've got room for all this lot. I didn't mean everything, just the stuff I need. Well, I'm sorry, but you should have said. We worked very hard to back all this up. You should have been more specific. Well, I didn't think you'd bring the giraffe. Giraffe? For goodness sake! Pam? I can't believe this, Ness. Why didn't you stop them? Oh, don't blame me, love. I'm just the driver. Hey, take a chill pill, Stace. Keep it real. It's not your mother's fault. Now, you can take out the stuff you need, and the rest we'll take to the tip. You're not throwing it away. All right, then. We'll take it to Second Hand City. I wouldn't bother, Bren. When I worked there, they had no call for this type of thing. It's all three-piece sweets these days. That's your money. Look, there's stuff I don't want right now, but I might want it one day when we got our own place. Well, we can't take it back. Why? Well, there's nowhere to put it now we've done the room up. Done it up! Oh, Stace, you wouldn't recognise the place. I've only got the skirtings to do. Job done. Cream it is, Pam. Cream and plum. Oh, I that does this. sound nice. You've just been waiting to get rid of me. It feels like the minute I got married, you went, right, get rid of her and all her stuff. It wasn't like that at all. I found it all very upsetting, if you must know. Sorry, Pam. Oh, Gwen. Look, Stace, why don't you have a sift through? Pick out all the stuff you need now, then all the stuff you want to keep, we'll stick that in the garage, and all the rest can go to the tip of the second-hand city. It's not actually a city, Mick. It's a shop. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're right. It's fine. Oh. I go for my scan in a few weeks. Right, do you need me no, to? No, I'm just telling you. Are you getting back today? Taking the truck. Is it? It is your baby. It I know. is. I know. I was going to say, is it safe for you to be driving that thing? Yeah, I'm fine till 32 weeks. Well, I'd like to come down, if that's all right, for the scan with you, yeah? You know, if we're going to do this, I want to do it properly. I give, give you some money towards it. I'm not going to be an arsehole about it. Tidy. Right. Right, so that's the stuff you want in my room. I mean, our room. That's going in the garage. Oh, God knows where. Pam. Well, we'll find a way, but I'm just saying that's all. It's going to be a squeeze. And then that, that's going to Second Hand City. city yeah. They take a foot spa at Second Hand City? I mean, would you buy a Second Hand foot spa? Well, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to ask Ness. Nessa, will they take this, do you think? Has it got a box? Not no. that I know of. No way. Not a chance. They laugh you out of their brain. We'll just spin it then. It's half past now. Shouldn't we get going? I've got to help Mick with all of this. Ah, uh, you're all right. You're sticking around for a bit, aren't you? No, I ain't going. Lucy's still sick. She's at an all-day swimming gala. She never stops, that girl. She'll stop tonight and I tell her I'm the father of someone else's child. Right. I'll just go and get the keys. I'm going to fire it up and get on the road, Gwen. There's no need for us to convoy. Anyway, I'm stopping off at Heston to see Ozzy and a few of the Stobart boys. Right, well, shall we join you there? No. This truck is only, I'm afraid. Stace, I'll see you. Take it easy, Mick. Increase the peace, Pam. Right, so I'll... Uh... No, I'll give you a ring. Tidy. Oh, Gav, you gonna give me a bunk up? It's no joke in this skirt. Yeah, OK. See you back to base, Ness. Crack it. 